Hello, ladies. Hello, ladies. I hope y'all are doing well. Today I'm up in Mount Erie. Mount Erie, and I'm hiking that trail right there. I'm going downhill now. I came all the way up that hill. <laughs> it's a big hill. There's the sun shining. It's about five o'clock in the evening. Kind of out of breath because I'm jogging downhill. This is where I'm at in Mount Erie. I just want to share my journey with you all. This is what I do every year, every other year. I spend time alone with the Lord. I come up to the mountains or out in the woods, beach. Anywhere where I could spend solitude time with the Lord with less distraction as possible. I don't know if you could hear it in the background. There's a creek right there. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? You see the water moving to your right a little bit? It's a beautiful little stream up here. It's a beautiful lake at the end of this trail. There's about four or five lakes surrounded where I'm at. It's so gorgeous up here. If you ever want to go on vacation, come up here, northern Washington. I'm on the island, uh, Fidalgo Bay Island, Anacortes City. It's right around the corner. So it's really beautiful here. It's really beautiful. You know, ladies, sometimes in life, we have to push ourselves. Sometimes we have to push ourselves. Sometimes we have to read the Bible more. We have to push ourselves to do that. Sometimes we have to pray a little more, or a little harder, more intense with all of our hearts. Sometimes we have to seek God more with all of our hearts. Most of us in life, most of us, we have to push ourselves just a little bit harder. And that's what I'm doing up here. I'm pushing myself to get closer to the Lord. So I can get more of His divine intervention. And more insight into my life from Him. Because I really need it. We all need the Lord. We all need the Lord. Hold on one second. Hold on, ladies. Hold on. This is funny. I hope you guys are laughing. <laughs> so we all need the Lord in our lives. Excuse my fingers. So I'm walking now down the path. I have to go slow because I'm holding the phone. It's rocky up here. It's rocky, but it's really nice. The air feels great. There's quite a few bugs flying around, but they don't really bother you. Every once in a while a fly a run me off. This is so gorgeous up here. I just love it. I could just stay up here forever. But ladies, like I said, sometimes in life we have to push ourselves. Most of us do. Some of us were self-motivators and all those things. And But most of us, many of us, we have to push ourselves. And it's okay. It's okay because God gives us the strength to do that. To push ourselves. So God is love and he loves us. And he never, he never asks us to do anything that he doesn't give us the strength to do. So we have to learn how to push ourselves. That's the sky view up there. So that's what I encourage you ladies to do. What an area, other area in your life. I got a little bit lazy back in Vegas, dealing with my family and getting Satan off my back and and things happen, you know, but we have to pick ourselves up. We have to pick ourselves up and get back on path. We can't stay down. We can't stay down. That's where Satan wants us. Satan wants to keep us down. We can't let him. doesn't matter what's going on in our lives, single, married, divorced, or widowed. Okay, ladies, single, married, divorced, or widowed. Okay, God doesn't allow us to keep making excuses. We got to go forward with our lives. 
We got to go forward. Okay, ladies. I'm going to walk down this little park right here. This little path right here. And I'm just going to let you guys enjoy the view for a moment. Maybe you could hear the creek in the background. Right now there's a airplane flying over above. That's my footsteps you hear. <laughs> That's my footsteps you hear, ladies. You see coming up? There's a divided path. And you know what? I got to know which way to go. How am I going to know which way to go? Well, one good thing is I've been this way before. So that helps, right? That helps. I've been this way before. So I have an idea. But a lot of times in life, you know, a lot of times in life, we don't know which way to go because we've never been that way before. So we get afraid. But one thing I learned from God and through life, uh, I, I, um, I'm 50 years old now. I just turned 50 years old last month. God bless me to see 50 years. And one thing I learned, when we don't know which way to go. The Bible will lead us. We pray God will lead us which way to go. But you know what? Sometimes we still don't get clear instructions. We still don't get clear instructions. And we still don't know which way to go. But you know what I learned? God revealed to me, just go. Sometimes we just have to go. And we just have to walk on. We have to walk out in faith. We have to take a leap of faith and just go. And God will catch us. And even if we go the wrong way sometimes, and sometimes in life, we're going to go the wrong way. And when we go the wrong way, God will turn it into our favor. He'll, he'll either lead us back safely to the right way, or he'll bless the way we went. Okay, ladies? So don't live in fear. Don't let Satan make you afraid. Of anything don't live in fear life is not meant to be lived in fear life is meant to be exciting and adventurous the things that we think you know things that make us afraid are really meant to be a journey it's meant to be enjoyed it's meant to be a journey and it's meant to be enjoyed so that's what life is about life is a journey so enjoy the ride just fly with Jesus, whatever you do. Just go with Jesus. Just go with Jesus and he won't leave you. He won't leave you astray. He loves you. Look at this beautiful earth he gave us. That's love. God is love. And this is why he gave us this beautiful planet. I love you, ladies. I'm going to head back. I'm almost back, about half an hour back to where I began. So I love you ladies and just remember God is love and he loves you and he wants the best for you and he seeks the best for you. So, so get moving. Take a leap of faith and go for it. Love you. Ciao.